This week, the 45th president of the United States tweeted that a sitting federal judge who had ruled against the Muslim travel ban was putting the country in peril and that if something happens, blame him and the court system. Such an assault on the judiciary is not only unprecedented, it also reveals a deeper plan of rebuking any constraint by the court system in the event of a national emergency. There's something else sinister about this sort of talk coming from the President of the United States. He's preemptively clearing himself and his administration of any responsibility for future terrorist acts its policies might fail to prevent or even invite. The current administration seems to be trying to provoke a terrorist attack on U.S. soil. A bipartisan group of senior diplomats warned the president's executive order could, quote, do long-term damage to our national security and foreign policy interest, endangering U.S. troops in the field and disrupting counterterrorism and national security partnerships. The really striking thing about the president's Twitter tirade, however, was his eagerness to see an attack on America, which would show everyone the folly of constraining his power. What we see here is the most powerful man in the world blatantly telegraphing his intention to use national misfortune to grab even more power. And the question becomes, who will stop him? After 9-11, a hugely unpopular president exploited the tragedy for political gain and invaded the country completely unrelated to the incident. That decision eventually led to the destabilization of the entire Middle East and is widely regarded as one of the greatest blunders in U.S. history. Before the rubble had even been sifted to identify the bodies, Bush's popularity skyrocketed to 90%. Within a matter of weeks, he began the process of lying us into an unnecessary war that had been planned prior to the attacks, using those same attacks as his justification. The courts have no real power, no standing army, no power of the purse. Even so, for centuries they've acted as a check on executive overreach. A megalomaniac president with no regard for either the courts or the press could easily use an international incident to ignore any constraints imposed by them. What happens next depends entirely on how well the resistance organizes itself now. If you found the information in this video helpful, go ahead and share it with a friend. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button so you can find us again next week.